Hey everybody, welcome back to Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. Hopefully today is the day where I'm going to finally get this tractor running. Got a bunch of parts here behind me. We'll go through them, see what we got, get started. Made a trip to the parts store yesterday to pick up everything I think I need. Hopefully I've got it all. I picked up this hose. It needs to run from the air cleaner to the carburetor. And tractor parts catalog is 21 bucks for this hose. Well, I rated the shelf at the parts store. Found this one for eight dollars. I only need about that much of it. I figure for eight bucks, I can just cut off what I need, fit it in there, throw the rest away. So there's that. New ground strap for the battery. Positive battery cable. New set of sparklers. Set of spark plug wires. Which I'll get into this here in a little bit. Man, I didn't realize it till this morning. But I bought the 50-50 mix antifreeze. Which I hate doing that because it's only a few dollars different. So, say it's four dollars different. So you just paid four dollars for a half a gallon of water. But I did it, so I'm going to use it. I'm not going to return it. Actually, I think this is all they had anyway. I wound up going with the Autolite number 85 spark plug. That's what was in it. And I asked on one of the online forums, and everybody recommended an AC Delco one. I don't remember the number off the top of my head, but everybody said they're getting very hard to find. And when I went to the port store, they had these on hand, so that's what I bought. I got them all gapped. They say with this electronic ignition, you can open your gap up a little more. They come out of the box at roughly 25 thousandths gap. I got them opened up to 35. We'll try that and see what happens. We'll get them all installed here. Well, I just had a nice practice run with the camera off. Got the first plug wire made up already. I got the second one marked out. There's my mark there. Let's go ahead and clip that off. Strip it back about a half inch. Expose the core there. And I use my standard mixture of dish soap and water I use for leak detection and everything else. And squirt a little bit of that on there to make the boot slide on easier. Then you just fold the core over. Put an end on it. Give them a little squeeze so it don't fall off. Put it in the crimper and it's ready to go. Slide the boot back down. There's another finished plug wire. I bought these crimpers off of Summit Racing quite a while back. And they got the dies are built specifically for doing spark plug wires. I don't remember what their cost. It was kind of spendy, but it was well worth it. So I got two left plus the coil wire. So I'll get them done. And I'll bring you back. Okay, just finished up with the coil wire, so they're done. Got leftover parts. Got all these angled boots, which I did not need for this set. And one extra crimp for the end. 
that's for when you go and crimp one on there and then realize that you forgot to put the boot on first and have to cut it off and redo it. Everybody's done it. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you I haven't. Fortunately, I didn't this time, but I'll throw that in the drawer for the next time I do forget one. Get these put on. You guys remember, I got the number one pointed towards the number one cylinder, so I'll put that on. The firing order on this tractor is one, two, four, three. Distributor spins clockwise, so I got one, two, four, three on the cap. There's the ignition, ready to go. Now I had this rigged up with the old battery cables for testing purposes. Now next step will be to get the new battery cables put on. I'm going to go ahead and do this off camera because the only good camera shot I can get at it is right where I need to be standing to do it. So I'll get this done and then bring you back. Okay, I got the new cables installed. Everything's hooked up. It's really a tight fit. Got to be careful. Definitely unhook the negative before you do anything else since it's so close. And I think I'm going to take some pieces of plastic to insulate that. Because if that battery bounces at all in there, it's going to hit that lid and be a fireworks show that none of us, especially me, want to see. Yeah, that worked pretty good putting the plastic insulator under there. Now I can kind of see why these lids are usually missing. If it was a daily use farm tractor, it would probably be a pain trying to get in there all the time, especially back in the 6 volt days and trying to get them started in the cold winter time. Manifree is put in here. Put a little go juice in. Now this time I'm going to remember to turn on the gas. Almost forgot my air cleaner hose. We'll get that cut quick and put on. Try cutting it there first. You can always cut more off. Yeah, it looks like that'll work. Get a couple clamps to put on it and get it buttoned up. Final thing to do before I try this is put the muffler on. A lot of these tractors use the Nelson style muffler that sat on there and had a heat shield with two bolts. This manifold, I don't know if it was replaced at some point or what the deal was or if it was just the year of the tractor. It's got the boss there but it don't have the threaded hole. I'm just going to put the muffler back in the way it was. These bolts basically act as set screws. I know some people aren't going to like that. 
got to restore the tractor and putting this old muffler back on it. But it's in good shape and after a year it's going to look like this anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. Maybe in the future when it does need replaced I'll buy that Nelson style and just drill and tap that. Do it at that time. But for now, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I believe it's time for the moment of truth. Get the camera back out of the way here a little bit so I can try it. Got gas in the tank, oil in the engine, antifreeze in the engine. Linkages are all hooked up, wiring's done. Like we're ready to try it. Well, I got all excited. I had to take it for a test drive. Everything ran great. Remember that little splash of gas I put in earlier in the video? I gotta go walk about a half mile to get the tractor. I'll be back in a little bit. It's cold, windy, trying to rain. Got my exercise for today, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, it's baking the paint off, kind of like I thought it would. Nothing shiny and metallic on the dipstick. So I'll take that as a good sign. I'm going to run it a little bit longer and then change the oil. Get a little better look at it. I don't believe the temperature gauge works. It never came up at all. I might have to find a new one of them in the future.
Otherwise, with the exception of running out of gas, that was a real good test run. Well, overall, I'm very happy with today's events. The tractor did run good. I think I'm going to put a timing light on it. Because I just set it, I guessed it, close enough to get the fire up, and it seemed good. But there's actually timing marks on the flywheel. There's an inspection cover underneath you have to take off shine a timing light up in there to make sure I'm set right, but I got a feeling it's going to be pretty close. Other than that, I can't think of anything else other than to finish painting, but mechanically, I believe it's done. So that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure you hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave comments down below. Stay tuned for the next video when we get this buttoned up and actually finished. Catch you next time.